<laughs> what is going on guys? So I'm not gonna lie, I actually didn't do any digging last night. I've been dreaming. I've been dreaming. So um if you were feeling sorry for me while you were watching that video last night, um I'm sorry. You felt sorry for me for nothing. <sighs> Yesterday was a big day. Today I'm not sure yet. Just before I started recording, I sliced my hand open. So that's gonna make digging a bit of a pain in the butt, but I really gotta sink that thing into the ground so we can get it cycling, uh, get everything in it, and then get the turtles outside, so. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna, uh, uh, yep, yep. All right, let's start digging. <laughs> so, um, I'm digging. It's not getting anywhere very quickly. I thought it was a little bit bigger than it was, but that whole back wall there is so compact. I gotta get out the pickaxe. Oh, you know what's better than digging? Not digging. Damn it. So I've been absolutely stoked with the support for finding um, lids. So far I've only done two collections, which are these two boxes. Um, and there is heaps of lids in there, which is sick. Pour them into this container for now and um, continue collecting them. So, that is what we've got so far, and it's a, that's surprisingly heavy, like I don't know if I can pick up that basket with one hand anymore, but that is a lot of lids. And that's only two pickups that I've done so far. So the reason why some people collect their lids is because uh, a lot of people don't actually know, but you're not allowed, or it's not, they can't recycle these at the recycling plant. Um, and they just end up in landfill or you see the squillions of photos of giant plastic floating islands in our oceans is where they end up. So the idea behind this is to get heaps of these, like heaps of them, fill up a bunch of, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it in an IBC container, otherwise I'll have to kind of figure out a way, but like a bunch of big round tubs or the food grade olive, um, the barrels that they use to keep olives in and uh, age them or store them, whatever it's age, is it aging? I think it's aging. Um, where they, they put them in big barrels, seal them up, age the uh, olives, and then, um, yeah, maybe get a couple of those barrels and make giant, uh, giant filters out of these. Now, the go with this, and I've had a few people tell me, uh, don't do it, and there's been, I've read a few things about it, is lids aren't very uh, good for filter media. I mean, they, they work, but their surface area, their surface area isn't actually that great. So, with the bio balls, you're using something that's the size of maybe, I think, about two of these kind of things. And you're basically using a bucket load of these to get the same surface area. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is not meant to be um, the best filter, the best uh, small filter. This is just to give a bunch of lids an extra life uh, without ending up in landfill. Um, if you've got the space, I can't see why you uh, couldn't do something like this. And fortunately enough, I have the space here. There's a whole bloody backyard. I could fill a whole bunch of IBC containers with these and still be able to hide them. But obviously for a, you know, inside your house, this isn't a very viable option for, um, for filter media. But there is some pretty cool lids in here, like these things here look like they they got a decent amount of surface area. Um, I don't know whether or not scratching them up uh, would be a bit better than just leaving them like smooth. I don't know, I have to really look into it. Maybe drilling holes in them. I, I honestly don't know if there is a way that we can 
uh, give more surface area. But yeah, this is not the cheapest way to make a filter. It's not the, uh, I don't know. It's not a good way to make a filter, let me tell you that, because I will probably spend a lot of money and a lot of people will be like, why did you bother doing that? Um, when you could just use one container and fill it with a couple of hundred dollars worth of media and get way better results than this, but we're doing it for the turtles. <laughs> well, the hole is coming along, but my hand is absolutely caning. So I decided I'd move some of the limestone bricks. The limestone bricks are what we are gonna make the retaining wall on the other side um, with and i don't know what we're gonna do to retain uh this side in front of the pond or whether or not i'm gonna backfill it for now and then just re-dig everything out later on i honestly don't know um it happened again i got uh distracted and i brought something so we're going on a two hour trip well <laughs> it's like a three and a half hour round trip depending on traffic maybe four so, um, yeah, man, it's been ages since I've been on a train and I've been on train like twice this month now. Well, this is absolutely hectic because I, um, stayed on the same train for like an hour now. Like, like this is a busy route. I've seen like six different buses and none of them are the one that I'm looking for. And I'm starting to get nervous that I am at the wrong place. But yeah, uh, this is taking forever, but we're almost there. Hopefully. So the last little bit of our journey is a little bit of a walk. So it's not too far. Like it's literally just a little walk, which I was super nervous about when they sent me the address. I was like, I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a, uh, a house that was miles away from a train station or miles away from a bus. But after two hours, I think it's two and a half hours. We finally made it. And <clears throat> I think today would be the day that I would hate to have somebody send me out a false address. Um, yeah, that would, I'd, yeah, I'd probably cry a lot. <laughs> so you might be asking, Sai, what is it? What did you buy? Well, I brought a roof lining. So I think a lot of you will be happy. The um, roof lining is also attached to a territory. Yep. Brought another car. Fortunately, uh, it doesn't take as long to drive home as it will catching the trains and buses there. Well, it was one train because the train went all the way from my house all the way down here which was sick because i was so glad that i didn't have to run around the train terminals trying to find which train that i uh, pardon me which train i was gonna have to get on um like second last station before the city it was like this train runs all the way through to mandra and i was like oh my god i don't have to worry about getting lost at the trains but then i had to take a bus get off halfway through that route jump on another bus and then that bus took a wrong turn. Well, he didn't really take a wrong turn. There was roadworks. But my phone's like telling me that this bus driver's going the wrong way. And I'm like, ah, oh, well, I'm done. I've jumped on the wrong bus and I'm never getting there. So um, we got there, we got the car, and now we're driving it home. So yeah, it's got a roof lining. So um, that'll be going into the other territory. And um, yeah, that'll keep you guys happy, I think. So you want to know something super hilarious is that the uh, window regulator that is broken in my car is um, also broken in this car. So I can't use that part either. Also, my cruise control doesn't work. Funnily enough, the cruise control in this car also doesn't work. At least we've got the roof lining. I did manage to dig out quite a bit of the hole before I left today, so that is almost ready. But I do have work tomorrow, so I am not going to be doing digging tonight. So I'm very sorry to say it, 
but I'm going to wrap the video up here. Um, yeah, I'm just having a mid midlife crisis, a mid midlife crisis, I guess. Yeah, I do this every now and then. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Take it easy. Stay awesome. Remember, you can't fail if you try. See ya.